Albuquerque police tonight are trying to figure out who stole a life-size sculpture from outside a library and why. The statue's heavy and it has a lot of sentimental value, but it's pretty much useless to the thief. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live to explain. Dick, a woman who made the statue of her grandson because she wanted to give back to the community. Now she and a lot of other people want that sculpture put back. Bolts, an empty rock, heartbreak. What's left after someone stole a statue that used to greet guests at the Wantabo Library? That's horrible. Why would you steal something from a library, like a public library, you know? I sat on the bench sometimes and would look at it, so yeah, it's a shame that it's gone. Library workers say they saw the statue of the little boy named Sean when they came into work this morning, but this afternoon... Between 11 and 12 today, um, we were notified by a patron who came in and wanted to know where our statue was. And it's not just library goers who miss him. In 2004, Rebecca Stover, the daughter of former APD police chief Bob Stover, made the sculpture and donated it to the city. It's extremely sentimental. What I did is it's, it's my grandson, and I had it so that it was finished right at his 10th birthday. Rebecca says she and Sean would often come to the library to research and read books. I'm just grateful to have the library and to show my gratitude. I made the sculpture of him sitting there forever 10 years old. She says if the thief thought the statue was bronze, he's wrong. She says it's hollow, made of scrap metal. I mean, it can't be sold ever, and I, it would more than anything break my heart if somebody tried to sell it for scrap metal. Rebecca is asking whoever took Sean to drop him off somewhere where he'll be safe. It's a little boy. He's 10 and he's reading Treasure Island. So if you find part of it, all of it, I can put it back together and we can put it back where it belongs. The artist says the sculpture is worth about $5,000 as a piece of art, but it'll be hard to sell because it's stolen and is so recognizable. She says it's basically worthless as scrap metal. Back to you. All right, Nancy, in case you're wondering, Sean, the grandson who was the inspiration for the piece, is alive and well. He is now 17 and lives in Arizona.